Hello YouTube, what is up? This is Spum789 here. Um, as you may have noticed, I haven't put up a new video in quite a while. That reason is because, you know what, I'm going to tell you what you can blame it on. You can blame it on this shitty code. All this code. You're going to you're gonna blame all of this weight on this gay ass code. Okay? You're going to blame it all on this code. Now, I'm going to tell you why you're going to blame it on this code. This code, this inventory function, function, has made me have to rewrite my entire engine. My engine, engine A and engine B, and some of the actual game, has been completely rewritten. Every single bit of it. I mean, even this. I know it looks exactly the same, but I like the way it looked. But it's not the point. Chess functions are the same. Some of that chess stuff and all the very early stuff you saw in my videos are, is very very similar. This is moved around and stuff, but that's, that's not the main issue. You're going to blame every aspect, every weight, every single thing you can imagine on this shit code. Okay? That's what you're going to blame it on. You will not blame it on me, or else I will send you a virus, and you won't like that too much. So, let's continue with this amateur game development. I don't even know what episode we're on. Fuck that. Oh well. Um, I did get my game to work. This is what I've been working on for a while. I don't know if you recently saw, or if you were there before, but I did get the adventure log and the uh, equipped UI functions to work. I probably explained that earlier. And there we go. Sorry for the flickering, it's kind of gay. It doesn't do that, but I'm running Hypercam, so whatever. Um, this is my dude. He still walks around as usual. My inventory function. Look at that. So my little debug selector type deal. And what the fuck? My bad. Hold up one second. Like I said, you can blame it on this shit code. Key hit. Key hit. Key hit. Two eight two. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to probably have another major meltdown because of the shitty ass inventory. And I'm not going to record over this because I don't give a damn. This code is worthless. Okay. Now it just doesn't even want to come up now. What the fuck? What the fuck? What? My bad. My bad. It was embarrassing, but who fucking cares? Ugh. Wow, my up key is either broken or the function is fucked. It's supposed to go up, but it's not going up. I don't even know if you can hear this. That is me pressing the up key, and this is the box not moving up. But, as you can see, I, my character can move up, so apparently it's the problem is definitely in the code. Um, so we're going to go to the code, and we're going to be so mad at this code that it's going to obey me. Alright, if key hit 208, the up key, or the down key, one of the two. Yes, I still go to scan codes picker because I'm not going to I'm not going to memorize 200 different, 237 different fucking combinations. No way. So it should be in the 200 area. 200 is definitely up, okay. But since the uh, the buffers have been flipped, it it flips, you know, from the the bottom goes to the top, the top goes to the bottom. It doesn't change the left and the right. So up is down and down is up. So this should be right. 
This should be right. This should be right. And this should be right. I'm kind of pissed. I'm, I'm kind of pissed because I, I just got this work and I was so happy I was going to make a new YouTube video, but... Fuck. You know, th 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 this shit is going away. And fuck you. And fuck you. And a uh, fuck you. And fuck you too. Congratulations, you guys have been fucked. Fuck yeah. Okay. My bad. My bad. And I just exited out of the game. You know what? I don't care. You guys can sit through this shit. Because I've waited all this time to finally get this inventory function to work so you can fuck off. Never mind, don't fuck off because then I'll lose my subscribers. But it's not the point. I still love you guys. You're my best buds. Um. Let's check this out. Yeah, you're gay too, Adam. Go fuck yourself. Inventory. Working inventory. Fuck yeah. So, I just, of course, the inventory still works. You've tamed bronze armor. Which looks like that. It's a little gay looking, but oh fucking well. And, of course, I can tab through my different types of things. La 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 la. This is what makes me happy. I had to redo my inventory system as a as so I made a bunch of types, so and custom types. So there's type item, and then there's custom types like uh, red potion dot type, green potion type type. So this is definitely the red potion type, as you can see, and that's definitely the blue potion type right there. So it, it's it definitely differ differentiates between the two. So now it's not just an image anymore. It's actually, it's actually something. It's hard coded. So uh, I'm gonna show you how this works. Check it out. All right, this is the add item function. I call this function whenever I want to add an item. Um, and then I have the variable item ID, which is used for a select function. If you don't know what a select function is, I'll explain it to you later in my upcoming tutorials. So it gets the value of item ID. So if it's one then it is one is technically equal to the red potion uh item so it creates a new instance red potion i got to change i got to change this later but i just now got this to work it it i it did the print function so i know that it knows i know that the com that the game knows that it's dealing with a red potion and i'll change the types later so i can delete a red potion instead of having to delete a whole item which is just gay um of course ID item ID equals one and then it passes the item ID into it and it gets the item ID and then it does it through a select type type deal. Other than that, nothing's changed except for spending hours and days of and weeks rewriting the damn engine. <sighs> that was a lot of rewriting. The only thing I did not have to rewrite was the editor. <laughs> Figure that. Alright, so this has been Amateur Game Development Episode Fuck You. Um, we're going to dub this episode Fuck You Inventory. That's what we're going to dub this one. And, I'm, and it's going to be a fade out, because I want it to be. Um, pretty soon, maybe within 30 minutes, I'll have, I'm going to start doing video tutorials. Um, because they're cooler. And... I'm also going to post a link on uh, Celestial Forums, which is a forum where I learned where I first learned how to code C++. I will direct you guys there if you ever have any questions. I'm on that site too, so you can ask me from there. Um, just because it's a cool site, the uh, administrator helped me through a lot of my stuff. And I'll post a link to that site on this video. Thanks a lot, and I finally got this shit to work. Keep if you haven't if you don't see me post a video within like a week send me messages saying to motivate me to put a movie up here cuz i mean cuz it's just some of you guys don't realize it's actually quite hard to code a game it's 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 easy to code sometimes but when you're coding a game for the very first time 
this is my very first time. It's it's quite difficult to figure out all the different functionality and stuff. But anyways, thanks a lot, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.